<laughs> the map's all screwed up. There we go. Now, now it's not screwed up anymore. Boom. See ya. See ya. I just knocked you into next week. Oh. I don't have a dispel yet, do I? Let's see, so I should have pain. We got mine. Oh, we got mine last. We do have fade. We don't care about fade. Got holy fire. Renew resurrection. Resurrection. Shit. And cure disease we have. Nice. And penance. Mutation of fire. That's about it. Good game, GG. So on my other priest, I was like nine and one in battlegrounds, and I lo I ac accidentally leveled past sixty, which I didn't want to do. So I have to to level up again, <laughs> another priest. But leveling on the server is super fast. But we'll make sure we lock our XPs. I mean, look at that. Can you believe that? I'm level thirty already. I just created this character like literally like ten minutes ago or twenty minutes ago. Unbelievable! Unbelievable! That I'm level 32. <laughs> it's just it's just hard to even fathom how fast the leveling is on this server. It's just unbelievable. So we're just gonna Ooh, get some rain going on. Mm. Um, let's take a look at our talents. Yes, yes. I haven't really used power infusion too much. Renewed hope. Increase the crew quick chance of flash shield in real life. try to win this one so I think I'm I've only lost one battleground <laughs> across my class blah 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 across my dispree so I was 9 and 1 on my other dispree so on this one I'm like I'm like 3 and 0 or something or 4 and 0 3 and 0, 4 and 0 I don't know so I'm like 13 and 1 or something just shows you how important it is to have a, a healer in battlegrounds and dare I say a good healer play versus play battle. so I'm oh I'm only 2 and 0 feels like I won 3 okay so I won 2 Plus nine, so I'm eleven and one. Let's keep the ball rolling. People are dying. It's not good. But once we get up there, we'll turn this. We're gonna turn this battleground around. Come on, where's this rogue at? Wait. No, 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 no. Don't die on me. Like I said. Turn this battleground around. You will not die on my watch. No, I don't think so. Oh shit. Pet, 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 pet. No, 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 no. Mounts. Okay. Okay, we have. Okay, I'm Horde though, so I have to return the flag. I don't know where the flag is, but we gotta return it. The power, the OP-ness. Okay, we've gotta get the flag back, guys. We've gotta get the flag back. Where is it? Ah, 
fucking rogue. Come on, come on, come on. Is that our flag? Oh yeah. Boom, see ya. And I wouldn't want to be you. <laughs> no, I would not want to be you. And I have no mana left. So that kind of sucks. And I don't have any mana drink. Oh, we got some refreshing spring water. Not exactly what I was hoping for. Jeez, we don't even have heat mana potions. Oh, this is not good. Okay, well, we're just going to have to try to regen some mana. Right, you can't kill me. What are you crazy? Watch this. Boom. Oh, the damage. Ow. Oh my god. <laughs> the damage this is real, dude. The penance. Oh, you have been judged and you have been found wanting. Boom, the damage. Oh my god! Come on. We got a cat, boys. Move up. Ow, Tio Turbo! I don't know who you are. It must be Zalcini. Boom! Oh, the damage! No, he got out of range, son of a biscuit. Oh, he's getting, he's moving into range again. Bye-bye. Oh, yes. Oh, arcane missiles. How would you like, oh, I don't even need to use fear. I don't even need to use fear on you, buddy. It's not even necessary. I wish I had clan. Oh, we do have clans, good. Come on, we gotta get, we gotta score, guy. We gotta score the flag. Come on, <laughs> we gotta score the flag. Ow! I got a shitty group, Dawson. Oh, it's on right now, but once we get to like 55 or so, we're turning it off. I need to get to like 58. If I get 58, 59, it's going off. God damn it! We keep. Fuck, we're gonna lose, man. I don't want to lose. Come on, fear bomb, fear bomb. That's right. I'll see you later. I see you later. <laughs> no, 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 no. Keep my shaman, buddy. Keep my shaman friend up. Oh, I got no mana. Oh, shit, no mana. I got no mana push. I got nothing. There's also I need to invite to the guild. Oh, no, I got nothing. I got nothing. Yeah, I got nothing. I gotta run. I got no mana. Dude, I got no mana. Really? I'm screwed. I got no mana, but I got nothing. I'm gonna die. Fear bomb. 
I got no I got no manas. I'm dead, I'm dead. Interrupted. Damn it. Oh the first time I've died on this character and I'm level what 33 or something. <laughs> Come on, if we could just get these, these people could just actually, like, support me. I know, like, dude, it's like, if these people could just, like, oh, no. We're losing, dude, dude, we're losing. Come on, get the flag. Boom! I see you later! What you got for me? What do you got for me, buddy? Come on, I'm gonna hit you with my staff! Oh, it doesn't matter. Rogue got him. Come on, let's get the flag! Flag! We can win this. <laughs> you get the flag, I protect you. We win. Okay, good. Or I get the flag. I don't care. How much health do I have? How much health does he have? Okay, I've got more health. Shit. No, 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 no. That's right. Trinket racial. Save the day. What are you talking about, buddy? Come on. He should have let me have the flag, and now he's going to run away from his healer. You, I love it when people do that. I love it. I'm your healer. Run away from your healer. That's always a good strategy. That's so smart. What? And you're going to die. Oh, you're going to die. What a surprise. How did he drop the flag? Oh, shit. How did he even drop the flag there? Don't fucking cheat me. I'm still trying. Did he drop the. I'm still trying to figure out. Did he drop the flag? I'm so confused right now. Alliance has the flag, right? Alliance has the horde flag. Alright, I'm gonna go get the flag. This is ridiculous. Oh my goodness. I can't do it all, Zolson. I can't do it all. I can't do it all by myself. I need the Zolcini. Where's Zolcini when I need him? Let's see, Tio Turbo. What are you? What class are you? What is the Tio Turbo? You're a 53 and a half Druid. Oh, sweet. All right. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. We are going to go... Fuck this rogue. I ain't giving you the flag. You suck. You noob, noobalicious is what you are. See that jump? That's skill. Technique. Oh, he's only for herbing. Gotta get sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. We're gonna get sneaky, baby. Oh, man, my mana pool is too low. Let's bubble this rogue. He might need it. Come on. We gotta cap this baby. Oh, they don't see me. I'm too sneaky for them. I wonder if I can. Can I go under here? Yeah, sneaky. Hide in the, hide in the bushes. Hide behind the trees. Oh, yes. No one sees me. I am a god amongst noobs. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Oh no, we got a rogue. Rogue! Damn it, I'm sapped, you fucking idiot! Hey, rogue, come back! Hey, dumb shit! Hey, fucking idiot! Look at your flag carrier! 
Jeez. <laughs> what? More. Fucking <laughs> idiot. First you can't carry the flag, then you can't protect the flag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need you to make something, dude. Come on, let's get it. Oh, it, it the rogue just the rogue just took it, didn't he? I think it was there. I think the rogue took it. I think the rogue ran up there and took it. Oh my god. Yeah, he just ran it. He just took it. Rogue grabbed the grabbed the speed buff and just zipped through here. And now my whole team's gonna leave me, but that's all right. God, this team sucks. No! No! I'm gonna score the flag in your face! In the face! Ow! Can you stop? Can you interrupt me? Oh, you can. Watch this. Watch this, baby. It's coming. Here it comes. Ow! <laughs> if we win this battleground, it'll just be because of me, Zalzin. Single-handedly taking the game into my own hands. God, we have, holy shit, we got like five rogues on our team. Are you kidding me? Ow, eat my penance, baby. See, I'll see you. i see you next week, maybe. Oh, you want, you want some holy fire? Oh, no, you're dead anyway. Oh, no. I've got somebody on me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Fear bomb, fear bomb. Oh no, you're dead too. I like how the rogue saps me, but he's got no balls. He won't even try to kill me. He's got no balls, you know. I don't want you to grab it. How much health you got? You ain't gonna grab shit. I'm gonna jump off, I'm gonna jump off, oh, no, I didn't jump off. I'm gonna jump, I'm gonna jump, 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 no, no, I didn't jump. Come on, rogue. How much health does this person have? 
814. I ain't giving you the flag either. Come on. This way. I see. I see some support this way. Very little. I see two enemies. That's alright, we're fine. We can take out two enemies. What is this? Firestorm, don't die. I wanna I wanna oh you died. Damn it. It's three enemies. This is not looking good. yet. Oh fine, these guys are dead. Get the flag back. Where's our flag is the question. It's gotta be over here. Come on, fear bomb, fear bomb, fear bomb! Kill the flag carrier! I got no manas! I got no manas! No! I got no manas! Wait, wait, wait! LOS. LOS. LOS, baby. Come on, give me the. Oh, no sprint. <laughs> hey, Laz, what's up, man? Who's guy? Who wins this for you, baby? Who takes it home? Who turns the battleground around? Oh! Horde win! I didn't cap it, but we still won because we were the last person to cap. <laughs> yeah, it consumes a pretty good amount of mana. We were down one nothing until I took the game into my own hands and completely turned it around because, you know, Dispriest is OP. Actually, it's not. I mean, Dispriest is really strong. It, it's not, you know, it's not... Uh, it falls off. The higher up we get, it's going to fall off when other, you know, when other people get more powerful abilities. And... But I'm, I'm now like uh, 9, 10, 11. I'm 12 and 1 on Dispriest Zalsen on this server in Battlegrounds. You can see those juicy heels. Let's see, what was it at? 53.3% of my heals are coming from Powered Shield because they're mitigating 14,130 damage. What level am I? I am currently level 40. Salsen, I need a guild invite. I need the guild invite. I don't know if Salson's even in. Let's see. You're not in the guild. Dude, I need a guild invite. What is this fucking guy doing? What is this guy doing? Bro. Bro, what you doing? <laughs> Everyone I tried whispering said they couldn't invite. What? Oh man. Everyone in the guild can invite. I, well, tell me the name of the guild. If you give me the name of the guild, I'm sure I can find somebody who can invite me to the guild. I just don't remember the name of the guild. You know, I don't remember the name of the guild. <laughs> you getting you getting motion sickness? I don't I don't really understand why. <laughs> 
Yeah, what's the name of the guild, Zalson? And I'll, I'll, I'll get the invite. Ow, level forty-one. All right, let's see what we got. Um, level forty-one. Zalson, can you enchant my bracers with stamina? I need the stamina enchant. My inventory is full. What? <laughs> I need bags too. Wait, how come I don't have? I I had more bags than this. I don't. I thought I thought I did. Yeah. Let's see. Something chaos, <laughs> you don't remember the guild name either, it's funny. You know, 30... Is there a level 40? I don't think there is. 30... No. 30, 30, 30. Okay, so we need... I need gloves, I need... Um, okay, I just need gloves, it looks like. And I need to get in the guild. Alright, ability wise, let's see. Okay, cool. Shackle and dead. Shield about da da. Spell magic, inner fire, levitate. Mind control. Mind control. Okay. Psychic screen. Well, hello there. Oh, effective chaos. There it is. Bro? What's up, bro? I asked you what? Dude, I'm like looking at my fucking inventory. I'm, I'm doing stuff. <laughs> yeah, can you do stamina on bracers? Thank you, sir. <laughs> Effective chaos. Nice. I'll take it. Thank, thank you. How come you can't guild invite me on your character? Let's see. Um. Oh, you, you got boots. Oh, you got boots too. Let's see. Trade. Boots. They took permissions away. Oh man. It might be because the guild's too full. The guild's probably too full. Oh, you can make me, can you make me food or just trying to benefit off a of free income? Yeah, yeah, but how does like not letting people invite, hmm, I don't understand why not letting people invite build a guild, why that would affect the guild leader getting money. I don't understand.
Don't want anyone with control but the GM. Uh, that's yeah, it's weird. We are critical edge level 25 in the main room. With Kita. I don't know what the heck Katana BDC is. Sunset Raiders. Look at that. I'm now in the guild Sunset Raiders. G quit. I don't like that guild name. I am now not in the guild Sunset Raiders. <laughs> That's the one Blue was in? Oh, I just I just left it. Here on a second. Yeah. I, I don't like that guild name. I'll get in the Discord. I'm sick of typing and talking. <clears throat> yes, 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 it's me. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to go see if I can get... I don't have any money, though. Ooh, nice. I got these things you gave me. I don't have any bags, either. I mean, I've got... I've got 80 gold. So... I'm in the I'm in the Discord. Oh, you have guest over. Oh, okay. All right, no worries. I don't know when my wife's gonna get home. Someone ran into someone ran into our truck, Salson. Okay, you know our truck, my brand new truck, right? My fifty thousand dollar truck. Someone hit the. Someone ran into our truck or it backed into it in the parking lot. This is the third time my truck has been hit while it's just parked right they just backed into it so basically like i have i said amber sent me some pictures of it i didn't they're not it's not like horrible damage it's like a dent in the front in the front grill it like dented the front grill and scraped like the finish off the front grill on the bottom and dented the top of the grill so it's not like horrible damage or anything but i mean it's a brand it's pretty much still a i mean it's not it's a 2022 but i mean you know amber keeps it in good shape so it looks brand new dude it looks like a brand new fifty, you know, fifty thousand dollar truck. Um, so she's pissed. I'm pissed, but you know, like I said, when you live in an apartment complex, people people hit cars. You know, it's just you know, yeah. I mean, the truck's been hit three times, three times, and it was the damage was so significant. The other two times, I had to get it fixed, and that's why my insurance got driven up. Yeah, it's a 2022 man. I don't know. It's. It's bullshit. It sucks, dude. It just fucking sucks. Let me put on. The, I guess I'll put on the Stormwind Tavern since I'm not in the guild. What can I do for you? Be careful. All right. What we got? Buy a couple. Ten slot bags. Gives us a little bit more room to deal with. And I've got 74 gold. Oh god. Well, I can't afford these. I can, but this one here, 44 gold. Jesus. But... What the hell? Buy it. Cha-ching! It's a lot of intellect and stamina. What are my trinkets again? Okay, another one. Ooh. This is one of my... This is one of my new favorite glove skins. See these? See these gloves? Who's killing me? It's Van Strudel. It's the Van Strudel. I see you. Yeah. So it's just the third time the truck's been run into. It's just gotten to the point where it's just ridiculous. Okay, we're Horde and we are winning. Nice, I like that. I don't have to work my ass off again. And we have the flag. Wait, we are Horde. No, we're Alliance. We're losing. Damn it. What am I saying? Shit. Can I turn the battle get battleground around again? We were down 1-0 last time and I turned the game around. 
All right, we'll try to turn it around again. Man, they're making me work for these wins. I don't like that. Can't do that. Oh, they, there we go. We can solve. All right, bye bye, Paladin. See you. I see you next time. Kill this paladin. I'm going to I'm going to kill you. You better run. You had better run, buddy. Because I am bringing the deeps. Oh, we're gonna lose this one. I can't turn it around. These guys are too shitty. We lost. Crap, shit's expensive. God, it's all sin. I need to start. You need to help me with the money farm so I can make some money because this is ridiculous how, how expensive things are here.
Yeah, so I'm thinking with the truck with the damage. I'm hope. I mean, the whole. I looked it up. The whole new grill would cost about 600 bucks. So I could just replace the entire front grill. But the damage is. I got to take a look at it personally because I only saw the picture and the picture doesn't show it that well. So if I look at it, and I feel like the damage is something that they could be fixed. But I mean, these grills are made out of plastic. You know, it's not like it's metal. So I don't really know how you could really fix it other than. I don't really know how they'd even fix it. So. I don't know if I want to spend $600 to replace the whole front grill of my truck. I could. I mean, 600 bucks isn't, isn't going to break the bank, but... I don't know. We'll see. Bitcoin went up. Nice. Took a nice rise there to almost 64,000. As long as it stays around 65,000, I'll be pretty happy because the, the halving's coming up. So I'm up 100 bucks today, so that's nice. And we're still down $614 over the week. That's all right. As long as it stays around 65,000, I'll be happy. Where's my wifey? Huh? I gotta go check on the dog. I don't know. It's actually it's just the bumper grill. I'm just tempted to let the let the damage go for now, and if I want to replace it later, but I don't really want to deal with it right now. Why fix it and have the chance some other idiot bought bikes into it in this crowded ass stupid parking lot? Just wait until we move out of here and get to a place where the truck's in a more safe position and then, then fix it. Less likely to have it ran, run into again. I'll be right back. I'm going to check on the dog. Yeah, Amber said she's still bad about the truck. Actually, I gotta look in my. I just refinanced my car, so I refinanced the truck just like this past week, and so I'm actually under a new contract, and I paid for the most expensive like warranty contract or whatever service contract. So it's possible I gotta look at all the terms of this new contract. It's possible that the damage to the front of our truck is something that might fall under this this service, where I can just you know say hey. You know, I mean, I, I don't mind paying for the parts, but if maybe the contract would just pay for the, the labor or something, you know, 
they could pay for part of it, that would be nice. Because I'm sure the new grill is going to be like five or six hundred bucks. But if they could just pay for like the labor, or pay for the part, and I'll pay for the labor either way, just so I can get some, so I don't have to pay the whole cost. I ain't going to my insurance company. Fuck that. Last time we, our truck got ran into when it was parked, and I went to the insurance company. My insurance freaking went up like hundred bucks a month or something ridiculous. I'm still mad at the insurance. I'm gonna. I need to switch insurance from Progressive to Geico. I always like Progressive, but man. And it's not just that, though. I think everybody's car insurance has been hiked up. Inflation. Man, what's going on with these queues? They were popping, like, instantly, and now they're not. Let's try... And let's see. It says... Queue players five. Need at least five more. Okay, so let's leave this one. And let's queue this one. Queued players three. Okay, yeah, let's leave that one. And let's try the storm. <coughs> Shade unavailable to join that queue. Okay. <sighs> no one's playing. No one's queuing. We'll see. So, oh, the server still has 23, <coughs> 23.76 players. I'm thinking over the next couple of weeks that the population of the server may fall off, I would imagine, because it's a private server. Um, we still have 14 days, two weeks, until Cataclysm Classic comes out, the pre-patch. I think what I may do, I'm really enjoying the disc brace. It's just because I've always been good at healing. I've always been very good at healing in PvP. I've played thousands and thousands of matches in retail and on disc priest and uh, burning crusade and 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 you know we're at the lich king and cataclysm so i've got a lot of experience doing it um so it's it's possible that i may go disc priest for cataclysm um and if i'm gonna do that it, it, it probably would behoove me to just go ahead and jump over to the wrath of the lich king classic server right now and actually level up um I don't really know. Let's take a look. I think Blue said he... I don't really know. I don't know, man. I got to talk to Blue and see how much money he has on his characters. If he's, like, really rich or something. I think he said he was on Pagel. I don't think I have anybody on Pagel. Hey, Zalzan. I was just saying, I, I'm actually really enjoying the Disc Priest, but that's because I, you know, Priest was always my main character. Like, I have more playtime in Retail while on Priest than, than probably any other class. And I've done more arena matches on Priest, Disc Priest, and, than any other class in, you know, in uh, The Burning Crusade, Wrath of the Lich King, and Cataclysm. Um, so... I was just saying, I could play, I might play a Disc Priest as my main, because I, I actually really am enjoying Disc Priest, as my main in Cataclysm. And if I do that, it might, you know, I want to, I would, 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 be, would behoove me to be level 70, right? To be max level in Wrath of the Lich King, classic, before, you know, I could go ahead and level up a character, you know, because I don't think I have one. I don't even know what priest I have in, in Wrath of the Lich King, you know. And then, like, I have two WoW accounts, so which WoW account am I going to use? They're both active right now, but I can disable one of them. I just have to pick which... And then I have to figure out what server am I going to play on. Well, you can see on Grobulus, I have a level 80 Paladin. So, and I've got, like, a level 24 Paladin. And that's about it. Um, this, and I think this character's got maybe, like, 8,000 gold, which isn't, obviously, not a lot of money. And then if we change realms to, I think... Um, what is it, Pagel? And I don't even hear Pagel. I have no characters on Pagel, but you can see the population's high, so Pagel would be a good server for because that's what Blue is on. Blue's on Pagel. Pagel would be a good server as far as PvE, if we're doing PvE content, cause, and it's mostly Alliance, if I remember correctly, if we look at Ironforge Pro. So, you know, having... You know, getting you know people to do stuff with won't be a problem because there's so many people on the damn server. So if we go to demographics and we go to United States and we go Wrath, I guess you can see Pagel is got a lot of people and it's 
pretty much all Alliance. The only server that has more people that's, that's, a, that's Alliance is Benediction, which has a, a bunch. Pagel's your server, RJ? Oh, nice, nice. So I could go Pagel, but the, the only bad thing is I have no characters on Pagel. So we've got this account. Now, let me log into my other account, right? Uh, let's see. Because maybe that character, I'm maybe, I don't think I do. I don't think I have anybody on Pagel on either account, so. Um, that's what, yeah, I heard, yeah, that's, Blue was saying he thought that Benediction was more of a streamer server. And typically when you have more of a streamer server, it's usually more toxic, right? But I, I do, I've always loved Dispreece. And I kind of got, I don't want to say I got bored of Dispreece, but I played Disc for a long time and I kind of started doing other stuff. But and, and I definitely will play other characters. I do like Fire Mage and I do want to play more Fire Mage on this server just to kind of see. But I feel like the, the worst part about, about Fire Mage is that it is really rng i mean you have to get it's not really rng but i mean you get crits to proc things so you have to get crits so it's not guaranteed one thing that was kind of cool about let's see classic one thing that was cool about like for example like destruction warlock was that to get chaos bolt you just had to land this other spell so many times to build charges so it wasn't rng at all it was like if you cast this spell three times you're gonna have three charges and then you know you can do your chaos bolt with three charges so it wasn't at all rng you need gear? Either do you need gear, gear, more gear? <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I'm a total noob when it comes to Fire Mage. Now, this is my other account. You see, So you can see on this server here, I've got probably about twelve or 13,000 gold, which, again, is not a lot of gold because I don't play on here a lot. But you can see that I have a lot of characters. I've played, I've got a lot of characters here. And I, I see, and I've already got a level 39 priest here um, on Grobulus, which I'm, I've always loved Grobulus. There's a lot of nice people on Grobulus, you know. So, oh, man. hey, Blue, I was just, I was just discussing, how are you doing? I was just discussing, I, I've been, I played Dispreach last night, and I, and I accidentally this morning, or on my lunch break, leveled past 60. <laughs> Apparently, I was set at, like, XP1 mm -hmm. or something and didn't realize it, and I was doing Battlegrounds, and I, like, was 58 or 59. I did a Battleground, I was still 59, so I figured XP was off. Did another Battleground, was still mm -hmm. 59, and then did one more Battleground, and I dinged 60, and I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> so i leveled another so i started another priest and she's already level 40 like two because it's nice. ridiculously fast and then I, I i'm enjoying the priest so much i'm like man i'm loving priest and it's because i played priest like i was a main priest all the way through vanilla tbc wrath of the lich king and that was always my primary and i've got thousands of arena matches on disc priest i mean i played thousands of arena matches so it's something that i'm very familiar with mm. And so it just feels very comfortable. It's, you know, there's no guesswork. I know what I'm doing, you know. And so I've actually, yeah. I, I've played, I've done three Battlegrounds today. I did, you know, four Battlegrounds today. And I did like 10 on the other character. I was actually nine and one on the other one. So nine and one on the other one. I just did a Battleground earlier. Where we were down one nothing, and I single-handedly turned the whole match around. I healed my whole nice. team, wiped the whole other team. And then I ran, grabbed the flag by myself, fought off like multiple people trying to kill me. Ran all the way back, capped. <laughs> which ended up winning the game. So it was just a lot of fun. So, but I was thinking, if I'm gonna play a disc priest as my primary main character for Cataclysm Classic, it might make sense to actually go to Wrath of Lich King Classic and actually level up a priest, you know, because I don't have one. Yeah, I don't well, think I, I, mean, ha I know. You can do that now, but you can also just wait for the prepatch, and I think the the leveling, ex like the whole questing leveling experience, will probably be better. You, you... And there will be a lot more people uh, leveling. Then, well, that could be a be bad thing too, couldn't it? Because you might be competing for stuff. No, I don't know. Um, I. That's a good question. Good point. I view it as a good thing because that means there's more people to that could queue for dungeons and queue for battlegrounds. Yeah, so that's true. That's true. That's it's, how I kind of look at it. I think the free patch is going to be pretty crazy. I was watching yeah. a video by Meta Goblin, who I have no respect for. Meta Goblin, I just put that out there right now. <laughs> I don't think he's very intelligent. I don't agree with most of his of his points. I don't understand how he's got 145,000 subscribers. I've never understood that. He's, he, I was watching one of his videos, and I didn't like it. And some of the stuff he said, I didn't agree with it. So I thumbs down the video, and I looked at the likes and dislikes. 
he had like 300 likes and like 220 dislikes. So apparently I'm not the only one who doesn't really care for his content. But anyways, um, yeah, I mean, I think, I think it'll be pretty crowded. One thing he did say, so I will say he did say one thing that was interesting. He played a private server like 10 months ago, Cataclysm, to try to get, to try to get a feeling for what Cata was like. And he said that the leveling, like the questing, was ridiculously easy. But then he did another video recently where he played on Cataclysm Beta, and he says the leveling is much more difficult. He said the mobs, he said he actually died to mobs, whereas when he was playing on a private server, he was just, you know, he was, he was basically pulling like five Morlocks at level six and doing one like AoE attack and killing them all with one swing. So obviously that private server was tuned yeah, really easily. That private server was fucked up. Yeah, that was. I don't think up. it's difficult because I did one yeah. to sixty one on the Catabeta through yeah. all of it, and there was a couple of bug things that I believe were fixed now, but I haven't bothered to go back. Uh, and I found it a lot more enjoyable, but I enjoy the questing experience and kind of having that breadcrumb to be able to lead me around. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I I don't I don't, I don't really know what it's going to be like. So I but when I look, I don't know what server I'm going to play on. Like. Like when I go to Grobulus, I have 12 characters on Grobulus, right? On Grobulus mm -hmm. server on this account. Um, what am I hearing right now? Why do I hear? Weird. Um, sound like I was hearing a Wrath of the Lich King client making a bunch of noise. So, oh, I think it was until I logged in. So I've got like about 12,000 gold, which probably isn't a lot of gold on this server here. That's a fairly decent amount. I think uh, I've got I actually a... only have about 1k, but that's because I've spent money getting things, let like me... certain pieces of gear. Yeah, let me take a look. But the thing is, if I played on this server, would I still be able to group with you and Zalson if you were on other servers or not? I, I wouldn't be able to group with you guys. So, for dungeons, they're cross-realm, I found out. You can yeah. walk into dungeons, you can queue for dungeons cross-realm, and they're hoping that they'll do that for... Uh, raids as well, but I don't know if that'll actually happen. So, oh, the other thing I could do, which I'm not opposed to, but I'm not sure if you can transfer from RP PvP to PvE. I could transfer so, a character with all my gold to Pagel, and that way I'd be on the same server as you. I think you can. I think you can't go PvE to PvP, but you can go PvP to PvE. I think we just do it from the... Where do we do it from? I think you. I think you do it from the, the login launcher. menu, character menu. Yeah, no, character menu. Should oh, it be is? shop right there on the lower left. Oh, I thought it was Sorry, from. I thought it was. I thought it was from the launcher thing. You, you can buy it from the launcher, shop. but you can also um, do it from inside the character screen too. Okay, so I'm gonna get, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look for character transfer. I don't even see it features. Trending. I don't uh, know. Yeah, that's the reason why I do it from the login screen, because it's easier to see. It's only a couple of items, not all the games and services they have. Okay, let me go to the login. I don't I don't know what Zalson... I mean, I know Zalson. He probably would just roll a character brand new. <laughs> he levels so fast, like way faster than I do. Zalson's like a dog with a bone. I told you that, right? Like, he leveled a character... <laughs> Another character on this private server accidentally leveled past 60 and was already thinking about like leveling up of professions and shit. I'm like, dude, wh wh why bother? Why? This is a private server. Yeah, you're gonna I'm not play doing professions. Like, you're, you're on a private server that you're going to play for like at most maybe a couple more weeks. Why bother? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but that's just the way he uh, is. So he, next to your you know, add ons button is shop, and then it should have a smaller selection that's only for WoW and, and specific services. Is there, wait, hit... is there a free ch transfer? I don't think there is for Grobulus. I was just curious, though. Well, how would you even know? Uh, there should be... Says character transfer three. Oh, they actually, look at this. You can character three transfers for 50 bucks. <laughs> wow, Blizzard. Oh. I've had the bundle packs for a little bit. That's actually, I didn't know I didn't know they had that. That's actually tempting because what I could do is I could transfer over my priest who's level thirty nine. I could transfer over like maybe my 
I don't know. I could transfer my Paladin to 74. I've got a 61 Warrior, although I don't really have any... I probably wouldn't transfer the Warrior because I don't really want to play Warrior. But I could transfer with the Hunter if I wanted. But honestly, I probably would just do the Paladin, the Priest. And... Man, I've got a Shaman on here? <laughs> got, a, got, a, got a Warlock? These must be Bankers, maybe? Yeah, they got to be Bankers. I mean, I can't imagine it would take that long to level to 39. I, I really don't know. Maybe it would. I don't know how long, the, what the it's leveling speed is like. terribly bad. So, like, I did 1 to 61 in a day 20 hours, but I also... In what? In a day and 20 uh, hours? Yeah. Uh, but I also know that uh, there was times that I was just kind of screwed around, you know, either being AFK or whatnot. So it could be a little bit shorter than that. So you figure a day in, I don't know, 10 hours. How many... But that's well, that's, that's full time. I mean, how many days? I mean, you're not going to do all that in one day. So you're thinking what, like a week? Right. Well, it depends on how much how many hours you put per day. That's why I tend cool. to just say, um, you know, how many. I'm trying to think of how I'm, I'm trying to word this. But uh, just how how many how much time it actually took me? Because then it's regardless of how much time you put in per day. Mm -hmm. I, hey, Sky, that's. I'm not sure what you're saying. RJ said, hey, Sky, that's me. And I'm like, I'm not sure what he's talking about. Um, Yeah, I got you. So anyway, so let's see how much. So it's basically would be like 50. I probably, I don't know if I'd do 50 bucks or if I just transfer. I probably would. It'd be kind of, I don't know. It might be. I don't think it'd be worth it you, you for your 39 it. character Um, in kind yeah. of in two parts. Well, it depends on when you want to level. If you want to level mm -hmm. now, then it probably would be worth it. Uh, If you wanted to do it. Uh, pre-patch i wouldn't i really wouldn't consider it because there's a lot of like the biggest thing that i disliked about uh classic era leveling is the essentially the logistics moving across the the game um there's just a lot of times that you just don't have anything decent there and that has been updated pretty heavily mm, yeah so the movement right is a lot easier to get around yeah so for the most part you're moving around rather than you know not mm. It might be worth it if the characters are high on professions, which I believe this character might be like literally like 300 enchanting or something. Let's take a look. Although I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I've also heard that a lot of people are re-rolling alchemy for the start to get the trinket. Um, which trinket? I don't know how true that is, but I've heard that uh, her prices have gone up. I was going to change one of my, or uh, do alchemy on one of my characters, but uh, I just haven't gotten around to it. And uh, I think I'll probably going to wait until pre batch it seems like there's uh, a lot of people that are doing that same thing. Okay, well, let's, so... Um, yeah, so I was right. See, this level... This level 39 priest is 300 enchanting. So I probably would just bring this priest over. Because that would save me some time. If I wanted to do enchanting, I mean, I... Oh, from what I heard, it's enchanting. Oh man, look at my and look at my banks, uh, blue. <laughs> so you got a few things there. Yeah. yeah, I was planning to make my rogue alchemist enchanter so that I could disenchant in dungeons that I do for my main, mm -hmm. and then um, after that, uh, I'll probably have a druid that's leatherworking skinning. I'm not hundred percent certain on that last part, but. Mm -hmm. Pretty certain I'm going to go alchemy and enchanting on my first character. Oh, shit. He's right. My priest has 16,000 gold. <laughs> nice. Oh, here, wait, wait, here we go, dude. Here we go. Because Guild Wars 2 shows it. I have a total across all my characters on this server of 36,000 gold. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Wow, I knew I played around this one, but I didn't realize how much. 36,000 gold. So yeah, I would probably transfer... I'd probably do the three-character transfer. Transfer over the priest, transfer over the, the paladin, and then I just have to figure out which other character I'd want to transfer. Mm. Yeah, I would transfer all the... And then... Probably the hunter. 
Well, I got a druid though. Probably I'd probably do the hunter. He's level forty-five. I could do the warrior, but I don't. I don't see me playing a warrior. Warrior's not even that good in Kata. At least I don't know how they are in PVE, but in PVP they're not really that great. A warrior? Yeah. They're okay, but they're only really viable as arms in Kata unless they change something, which they did do minor tweaks in, in Wrath. Yeah. It's not worth it, RJ, because I don't... He's saying it might be worth it to transfer gold from my other... I you can't do that. It's two different WoW accounts, if that's what you're talking about. I can't transfer gold from a different WoW account, so... Um, it's not that well, I know if they're on the same server, you could just mail them to yourself. Uh, are they? Oh yeah, you know what? Shit, I, I think they are on the same server, aren't they? Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Yeah, I think you're right. I think I think that's what RJ was saying is that if they're on the same server, let me take a look. I can't. I think they might be. I think I think they might be actually. So yeah, I, I know. I'm, I'm an. I'm a. I'm old. My brain doesn't work much anymore. You guys have to forgive me. Um, my my family, actually, it's kind of funny. Like, uh, my sister is older than me by about three years. And it's pretty, like, the people on my mom's side of the family that look like my mom are all, like, total space cadets. Like, we all have bad memories. We're very flighty. We're very artistic. We're all, like, incredibly artistic, very imaginative. But, man, we can't, you know, we're just, we're, 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 we're airheads. I mean, we're fucking, you know, we forget shit. We're real flighty, and, and I was never like that until recently, until like the last five years, as I've gotten older. My my brain just I can't focus like I used to, you know. But when my sister got it a lot earlier than me, like when she was even like in her forties, she was starting to get like that, where she'd like, like I remember her doing stuff like trying to leave the house without putting her glasses on, leaving her car keys everywhere, losing her car keys. Now I I never lose my car keys, but I do walk out of the house a lot of times without my glasses on, and I'm like, oh man, I forgot my glasses. It's just stupid shit, you know. So it definitely runs in, in the family, unfortunately. So you guys have to forgive me when I say stuff that doesn't make any sense. Okay, so, all right. So let's log into my other account. And we'll transfer the gold from that character if, it is on, if she's on Gravis, which I think she is, to Faith Driven here. All right, let's see. Yep. This one. And she might even, this character, there might even be like regions and materials and stuff that are worth sending over too. Oh no, this character does only got 3,000 gold, but still, 3,000 gold. It's worth sending over. That's still a chunk. Yeah. So and you can then... get like a 251 item level weapon for about 5 to 7k, depending on what the market price is going. But the pre-patch should also be able to get you 251 item level stuff. But look at my uh, look at this character, what she is and what she's got in her bank. <laughs> she's uh she's an she's an uh, inscriptionist, and so nice. she, her bank's pretty loaded with stuff. Um, you would recommend checking age prices of Gravis and Pagel. You might be able to do some cheeky action. That's true. Actually, RJ brings up a good point. I might want to start selling stuff on this. If I transfer from here to Pagel, the, the auction house might be better here than Pagel, meaning I could sell a lot of stuff that I don't need here first. Possibly, yeah. yeah. It's possible. I, I, being that Pagel, I, being that Pagel's probably more crowded than here, I would imagine the prices are cheaper, supply and demand. There should be more supply. But there's also going to be probably more demand. Let's just what's a good thing to, as a litmus test? What's our turkey test? What is? Uh, look up shattered hilt. Shattered hilt. None were found unless I spelled it wrong, but I don't think I did. I'll just look up hilt. Battered hilt. Oh, battered. Yeah, it's a uh, forty-two hundred. Forty-two hundred gold to five thousand gold. When I was looking at it on Pagel or Atish, it was uh, more most right? of the time between six to cent ten k. Yeah, because that which makes sense because there's more people on the server, which means there's more money in the economy typically. Yeah, it's also new. It he's like battered hill. So I would imagine that selling stuff on Pagel was probably 
is more. Yeah, yeah, RJ, it was more. He's saying it's 6 to 10k. So let's go to Pagel. Where's Pagel? Here, and let's go. Okay, I'm going to create a character on Pagel real quick. Human. Ah, it'll take me a while to get there. I'm like. Yeah, I think Pagel's definitely going to be better, you know? So, I think what I'm I'll do is... I'm curious how mm -hmm. Overard is... That'll be the biggest question, because it's the only piece that's truly world PvP. It was and really it, good in the... If it's cross realm, it could be kind of boring. Um... You mean cross faction, or because it's not cross faction though, is it? No, it's no not. cross realm. Because if you go to Pagel, there's not going to be any horde, so you wouldn't get any world PvP on. In, uh, yeah, and I, and I, and, Tol and that's whatever. one of my favorite things. I actually have said many times that Tolbrod. I, I have fond memories of Tolbrod PvP. Um, right. So I'm I'm just trying to think if that is going to be a problem. Yeah, I wouldn't want to go there if Tolbrod was just dead PvP wise. That would be that wouldn't be very fun. That's so that'll be a big question of. Uh, how is that handled? I'm sure that it's got to be. Well, it's got to be battle group, right? Let's see. Let's see if we can find. It. It's got to be, you know, because they did. They'd have battle. It's going to be groups. the same. However, winter grasp is. I yeah. don't know what that is though. Yeah, let's do a search. Um, let's see. Wow, cataclysm, cataclysm classic. Will toll barad. PvPB. Cross realm. That's not an official answer. Blizzard forums. So far, I'm not seeing anything. I would uh, probably search something like "Is Wintergrasp cross realm?" Well, but but Wintergrasp isn't Cataclysm. I mean, it isn't. I mean. We're talking you, just True, because winter grasp is the same doesn't... because of the same area. Yeah. At least I imagine it would be. Uh, I could be completely wrong, and it could just be fully instanced all the time. But I, I thought that both of those would be more. Well, no, TB would be more world PVP. This one says that winter grasp has been cross realm for a long time. No, this one says it's not. This says it's never been cross realm. They took twenty. Da, 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 da. Hmm. Let me go to. Well, I'm not finding articles. Let me see if I can find a YouTube video. Wow, cataclysm. I mean, we'll find out in the pre patch, won't we? But maybe if you just. No, because we no. won't have access to Tolbrard until after. No. Oh, cataclysm. PvP changes. Well, Cataclysm Classic. PvP changes. Cross realm. 20 big changes in Cataclysm Classic pre patch. That's probably worth looking at. Anyway. There's going to be so many changes in the Cataclysm. This guy's accent always cracks me up. Um, everything oh, you need yeah, to yeah, there's going to be so many changes. In this video, you're going to learn everything that you need to know about PvP in Cataclysm Classic. WoW's third expansion was pretty revolutionary. Be sure to check scaling to... I've actually already watched most of this video, and I don't think it touches upon... It's more around classes and class changes. I don't think it touches upon... Like, cross-realm, no pre-patch all the zones in between the 1 to 60 is going to look a lot different because of deathwing because of this there's also going to be introduced a lot of new quests and therefore the leveling experience will also be a lot different in this level range two new races An okay answer me this blue why does all these streamers and freaking metagoblin was doing it too where they were advertising the rested xp i really dislike rested xp because of the aggressive like marketing that and like trying to get your money it's just ugh. i mean you don't have to buy it obviously but at one point they were charging people 60 dollars for rested xp at one point 60 dollars but hey whatever if people are stupid enough to pay 60 bucks to have a, a a guide say go from point a to point b then 
I guess more power Especially to with you. Cataclysm. You know? Yeah, look, Cataclysm leveling guide. I'm like, what? Ugh. Here, look. Cataclysm, both faction, leveling guide, one day at $50. Right? That's for both factions. Free order. And the thing is, people buy this stuff. I know that you know? some people like it. Some of the streamers that um, advertise it actually use it and like it. Oh, yeah, but yeah. They probably get paid to just Oh, they use get it kickbacks. So they I'm sure they get, get kickbacks. It for free, so. yeah, I'm sure they get it for free. I'm just, you know, remember Zygor's leveling guides, the original ones? I think those were pretty much free, if I remember correctly, or at least they were free up to a certain level, maybe. No, did they do the same thing? You could get the guide. You had to pay for the guide or had a subscription. Some of them, no, some of them were free. Zygor's, Zygor's a subscription. Some of them no, are free, though. They, you have the same thing with RXP. There's, you can get the add-on and, like, the trial version for free, and that's well, here, all says, you can get. Well, it says rest at leveling 1 to 30 for free. Yeah. Which is kind of so like... you get the trial, and that's the same thing know. with Zygor. You get the trial for free. Oh, man. There, there, that, were, uh, there were guys yeah. out there that were free, that not Zygor then. There was another one that was really famous. Yeah. I don't know if it was Jenna or Yina or somebody like that. that one, I think, that was really good, and it was completely free. I just, I'm just against it. I think it's silly. It's like... Why would you like one of the biggest complaints people have about MMOs when a new MMO comes out is like, oh, this is this. I hate this MMO because it's like leveling on rails. It's like it. You go to a hub hub A and it tells you to just go here, here, and here, and the game has little dots on the ground that 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 tell you where to go. I don't know if you ever played Revolution Online. It did that. You'd pick up a quest and there mm -hmm. literally would be dots across the ground you would follow. And then Black Desert Online even had that where you could go in and open up your quest book and click auto. And it would just automatically walk you to the quest. And people like some of the biggest complaints about those two games is like, oh, this is horrible. This is terrible. But then you take that shit away. And guess what? These same people go out and buy a fucking guy that does the exact same thing. You know? And I'm yeah, like, people oh. want it. You know? But I mean, the, what makes me mad is the people that say they don't want it. A lot of those are the same people that do want it. They just don't mm -hmm. realize it. You know, they they think it yeah. sucks when it's there when they get when they play a game for the first time. They they don't like it because like you know it's too easy or whatever. But then if you were to play that game again for the first time and it wasn't there, then they'd want it. You know, it's just mm -hmm. they get get lost and confused. And yeah, about having to read. It's like the people who it's like the people that were so against World of Warcraft Classic. There were the people that were like that were very much against it. There were two camps initially before Classic ever was even announced. There were people like, oh, you know, like Classic WoW and blah, 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 blah. But then guess what happened? Classic WoW came out. And how many of those people do you think said they didn't want to play Classic went and played Classic? I guarantee you almost all of them did. I guarantee you almost all of them did. And out of all the people in the first year that Cataclysm Class or that uh, Classic WoW came out, out of all, and I'm not lying, this is a true statement, out of every single person I talked to who had never played Vanilla WoW in their life and played, played Classic WoW, and I asked them, do you like it? No one ever said no. Every single time, they're like, I love it. Every single time. They're like, I love it. A lot of, and a lot of these people, and you know out of all those people, some of them were the same people that were probably saying, that's garbage. Why would I ever want to play some slow-ass leveling, you know what I mean? You know that there's people like that. So I just, ugh. I hate fake people, man. You come to this streamer channel, you don't get the fake. You get the real. <laughs> if you don't like it, see yourself out the door. All right. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to find the Tolbarad question, have that answered. Let's take a look at this guy's. Yeah, yeah. Also be playable. Let's see what he's got to say. Let me, let me put on the close caption, fire. and I'm just going to mute the sound. Playable races. Okay, Deathwing, Leveling. Talent points. Talking about different triumph emblems and stuff. Wait a minute, he's got okay. Oh, he's actually looking at the original patch notes, but none of this is really going to answer the question. He's—I think he's probably going over the original mm -hmm. changes. You know what I mean? Like changes that existed in the original Cataclysm when it came out. He's not going over yeah. what are the differences between the original Cataclysm and what's going to be the new Cataclysm, because there's definitely going to be differences. Yeah. So. So what we need to do is do a search for what what will be different in Cataclysm Classic versus the original Cataclysm. 
Predictably, the classic take on Cataclysm will make a few changes to the formula to keep the action flowing, including faster content cadence and leveling, a new dungeon difficulty system that will be added after launch, launch a dungeon group finder that promises to simplify the process of teaming up with other players. I can't uh, imagine that dungeon finder is any different from original yeah, uh, Cata. And the addition of account wide, which I think that's kind of nice. Account wide mounts, pets, and transmogs, which is nice. Cataclysm will also mm -hmm. offer new dungeons and new raids. What? The addition of worgen and goblin. Well, okay, this is but that's the original stuff. Yeah, it's, it's like, like well, some of that stuff was new, but yeah, some of that's just meta. Yeah, I mean, this cataclysm will also add. That's not what I want to know. I want to know the differences between. Ooh, yeah, I can see. My antivirus is blocking some shit from this web page. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I tried a hunter. They're pretty strong, but if you can, if uh -huh. you run into like a couple of people, you're kind of you get hit pretty hard real quick. I I didn't really have an issue on the hunter. Like no class really seemed to. I, I can't. I mean, rogue. Obviously, if a rogue opened up on me, because rogue's burst is just so huge. Um, right. Oh my god, this thing's really throwing off some shit that my antivirus doesn't like. Oh, it is haste. Oh. Ah. So I think RJ just whispered me and said that Winter Grasp is cross realm. Um, so I'm assuming maybe he means in his experience in cat and classic. Been trying to tell you in chat. Oh, oh I yeah. Don't... I don't have the window. I don't have the chat window up. Sorry. I know that uh, Winter Grasp, the like the battle for Winter Grasp is definitely cross realm. I was curious more about the world PvP area for Wintergrass. That's the part is the questionable area. That like, there's no. The I would not. I would not stuff. think. I, honestly, I would not think that would be cross. I mean, and, and and I was all for transferring to your server, but once you told, once you mentioned Tolbarad, now I'm like really very hesitant because being able to go into Tol because Tolbarad has daily quests. Tolbarad has a lot of really good resources for your professions. Got lots of ore nodes, got mm -hmm. lots of herb nodes. Um, and of course, there's the daily PvP. There's the PvP Tolbrot event that you're going to want to do every single time. If you want to keep up in the PvP meta, you know, or keep up with other players as far as gearing up and making yourself, you know, really good in battlegrounds mm -hmm. and arena, you're going to want to do it as much as possible. Um, and there's also a couple, you know, items you can get off the boss, but the boss in Tolbrot isn't really, you know, his. I mean, early on when you don't have any gear, it's going to be decent, but. It's not like super great gear, but yeah. So that's isn't it the uh, same thing as Wintergrass gear? I don't or remember. It's essentially just the same. I don't remember because I, I mean... know Wintergrass rewards the same tier in terms of rating and PvP. Maybe not the elite PvP, but like the actual arena PvP. I don't remember like what item level it was. I remember doing it and killing the. I remember only doing the Tolbrod bosses a few times, and I remember the gear was okay, but it wasn't like you know. It was probably like. Comparable to comparable to like the first raid tier or for or maybe like the first like elite dungeon you know, like heroic dungeon or mm -hmm. something you know what I mean? It was better than probably like dungeon yeah. gear at, at max level, but it was probably not. It definitely wasn't any better than the the first raid tier. So. Hmm. Well, that's different than uh, winter grass because winter grass is the same level as the raid tier. I, I don't I remember. Well, it might have been. It might have been. I just know it wasn't better than the raid tier. I, I mean, it could be the same level. Right. I just know for a fact it wasn't better. Because I remember getting some of the items and thinking, oh, these are nice. But they weren't like, they weren't so good that everybody was doing Tolbarod, the Tolbarod bosses, because they're like, oh, I've got to have this gear because it's just that good. You know, nobody, it wasn't like that. Mm. So I think that'll be different this time around because of uh, justice points or emblem points. Um, and people just, because uh, like when I was doing on Pagel getting my rogue at 85, it was every time the winter grass was up, there were groups looking, forming for it. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's something you can only do once a week, so it was pretty. I thought it was pretty good that uh, there was always groups farming for it. Right. So, is, um, but I think the other point that you brought up, Tolbrot was initially planned to appear in Wrath of Lich King, but it didn't make it into the game until Cataclysm. This zone is not affected by the cross realm zones feature. So that's a bad thing. But that is the original. I don't think that's like mm -hmm. the new. So what we need is the new information. Yeah. 
I wish I'd use some of these big streamers and I could just ask them. Maybe like Scotty J, right? How do I contact this guy? Yeah, he might actually know that. Because that's what I'm saying. He seems to know a lot about stuff. And I like him. I mean, yeah. he might actually answer that question, but I don't know how to contact him. Well, he streams. Oh, hmm. I guess if he's. Is he streaming? Oh, is he streaming now? Hold on a second. He's probably on kick if he is. Yeah, I'm on kick right now. Is this. I think this is live, so it looks. Hold on a second. Yeah, he's live. I don't. He's listening to. I gotta give him props for listening to Coldplay. I'm not sure what he's doing. I gotta give him props for listening to. I don't have an account for Kick, so. He seems to like it more, but he says it's less. You know. Monetary wise than Twitch, but there's less people to deal with it because you have to go through a bit of a gate process to get an, an account rather than Twitch is just part of Amazon Prime. Right. Let me see if I can create an account real quick, and maybe I can ask him on stream. Let's see, username, caffeine injected, password. Password, um, password, Asmin gold sucks dig donkey. Oh, what? Oh, I shouldn't tell you what my password is. Let's see. Okay. Oh, it's saying my password is weak. Well, you're weak. <laughs> Here, how about this password? This password is strong. Okay, um, how do I sign it? What am I missing? The email can contain only letters. What? It won't. It won't take my Gmail email. The email can contain only letters, numbers, and underscores. Apparently, it won't take my email because it has periods in it. Like my Gmail email is c dot you know c period Julian period Kish, and it's com it's complaining weird. about it. That's kind of weird. Let me try my Hotmail. Okay, well I didn't have a problem with my Hotmail account. Okay, sign up. Please enter the six digit code we sent to your Hotmail address. The only reason I keep my Hotmail address around is for shit like this. To be honest. Every once in a while I run into stuff where, and sometimes I run into like game accounts where for whatever reason, Hotmail seems to receive notification emails almost all the time. Every once in a while on Gmail mm. when I'm on a private server or I'm on some sort of a new beta that I'm trying to test out and they say, we just sent like a notific, you know, we sent like a link to your email. Sometimes they just don't come through quickly. Whereas on, on Hotmail, they almost always come through very quickly. So... It's like I'm getting reports that we don't know what Bliss is going to do, but it really should be because there's a lot of realms that are pretty much one faction. Mm -hmm. I think they have to because there's most realms, not even a lot of realms, most realms yeah. are one faction, are heavily one faction. So if they don't do it, then it, the Tolbrod's going to suck on almost all of the servers, you know? Where did you get that from? You found that in an article, or I have an account for Kick, so I asked that question. I got some responses from chat, and uh, that's what oh. Scotty J wants as well as what we want. Well, damn, you could have told me. Uh, but we don't know. Okay, let me. <laughs> damn it! I wasn't certain if I was going to actually. What's your, what's get a your name? What's your name? No spike. Oh, I don't see. I don't see it. Is that because? Oh wait, here. This pot probably needs to be cross realm because some realms have ninety nine percent either faction. There's no spike. Do we know if Tolbra is going to be cross realm? Yeah, I hope Tolbra is cross realm like Warsun Gulch is currently is. And so I guess what's his name didn't say anything. Did Scotty say anything? <laughs> stood back. He said that's what I'm, he wants. I'm going to stand here he patiently waiting, okay. like I'm waiting for the boat to wetlands. We gotta follow. Hey, Let me. I, I like Scotty. I didn't know he streamed on here, so. And that's good to know that he actually answered your question, so I might oh, as well... Oh, yeah, exactly. Exactly, Jay. And then you got a fucking beefy boy of rep paladin behind you. Not me. I mean, Zach. Ready? I'm getting on this boat. Wait, where's the damn... I have too many... I have entirely too many windows open, and I can't find the window that actually has the kick. 
on it. <laughs> I have too many windows oh, open. I can't do anything. I've got that fucking horrified bullshit on me. Holy crap. I literally have so much shit open right now. I, I can't even I find it. I thought I was getting the boat to wetlands. Uh, I do understand your point, but really, to look into PvP gear only for bears. Gear is OP. It's 20 to 24 bracket, and uh, no, it's top two yeses, four Let rogues, and a PvP. priest. What was the top oh, in the bracket you're in currently? Yeah. Okay, I can't. I can't even find the fucking window I was on. This is ridiculous. I don't have that many windows open. I've only got two now, and I can't. I mean, it must have like jumped off the tab. Damn it! Now I got to go back and do it again. Oh fuck! Well, yeah, I had a hell of a time getting uh, my kick account to work just because. Uh, well, I lost the window I where what got weirdly stuck. Mm -hmm. uh, what I ran into is uh, during the authentication process during my account creation, it uh, would come up with like a four hundred four error, and mm -hmm. I ended, uh, ended up having to contact them. And they gave me this complicated fucking setup. Or, like, oh, I had to okay. open up the window, click the link, go to a new one, clear my cache while the tabs were still open, and then try it again. And then I forget the exact method, but it was something stupid like that. And now it's saying my username and password aren't correct. <laughs> All right, let's sign up again with that username and password that I just used. <sighs> well, you know I hate Twitch, and, and I've known about Kick for a while, but I was a little bit leery about Kick just because it seems new, and it does apparently have some issues from time to time that, that uh, YouTube and Twitch don't have, just partly partly because it is probably new. But yeah, I think early on, I remember I remember hearing that that people had some issues with it. All right, so I got, I'm back at the screen. Now I've got to see if I get a new email. And I did. Oops. Kick. Here's the code. Copy. Here's the window. Paste. Accept. Kick. Start your, okay, now I'm in. We are successfully in. This is me, apparently. Nice. Okay, now we have to find Scotty J. We're going to follow him. I clicked follow, but it still says follow. <laughs> Did you see that? All right, start watching. Click follow. I clicked follow, but it's... Oh, accept. Okay, follow. You are now following Scotty. All right, cool. I agree. Thank you for the follow. Okay. All right, we need to hold this like it's our front fucking door. So he is playing, it looks like he's playing Wrath of, I'm assuming he's playing Wrath of Lich King, but I don't know. I'm just looking at the abilities his paladin has, and it's, you know, stuff that you would definitely have in Wrath. All right, cool. So if that, we got that set up, if we ever need it. Yeah, it'll be good because we can ask yeah, him. He's, because he, the pre yeah, because the patch come in. Uh, just because the pre patch is coming, he's doing more work on Wrath to prepare. Yeah. Well, that's exactly, and that's what I'm thinking. So, so now we're still back to the same question, like Diary of Jane. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, I like that song when it came out, but now I don't. Is all of a sudden I've completely my musical chase have definitely changed since then. Like if I if someone like made me listen to that song now, it'd be like you know fingers on a chalkboard. I just wouldn't like it. Um, I don't think that that uh, that band is aged very well. <clears throat> yeah, he had calculated to something like uh, 346 emblems of frost or uh, or triumph, or any combination, uh, adding up to 346 will get you max uh, justice points. Okay, so that way he's trying to get those things then, so that when it comes out, he can just turn them in. Is that no? It'll come up I'm... automatically, and then he's saving those for. Uh, um... Oh, he's he's a PVE player. Sorry, PVP. Right. Yeah, he's, he's, he's mostly a, PVE. He's, he's a PVE player. Yeah. Okay. Well. Um... 
Yeah, so that's... <laughs> so that's really the question then. Do I want to go on your server or just stay where I'm at? Um, that's kind of, you know. Yeah, we don't really have good answers for it either. We don't have a good answer. I mean, I, I don't want to go there if, if the toll barrage is... is the, I think I'll, what I'll do is I'll just stay where I am and then maybe through the pre-patch, uh, you know, we'll, I'm, I'm assuming as we get closer and closer to the actual release, um, we'll find out. You know, we'll find out hopefully... You know, oh, did you say something? Oh, I got you. B. Okay, so RJ says, um, he said, um, apparently originally what we're saying, we're saying Gulch and League before Classic wasn't cross realm and Blizzard changed it, so most likely Blizzard would change it again. And I did search, but you said, but as I looked into Wrath Lich King, it told me that Warsing Gulch wasn't cross realm, cross realm either. And if Blizzard kept being consistent, they would, they would change the way. But as I looked into Wrath of Lich King, it told me that Warsing Gulch wasn't cross realm either. So you're saying that it wasn't cross realm? Yeah. Yeah, so they didn't have battleground groups back then, but that doesn't. So instance is one thing. We know that's definitely going to be battle The that'll question is whether or not be. the world will be. Yeah, yeah. The question uh, really is the being world. Said, yeah. Tolbarard is not truly part of the world. Like it's it's almost like an instance scenario, if that makes sense. I'm trying. Like it's not quite. Well, I'm trying to remember how do you get into Tolbarad? Uh There's a portal that you can only access at 85 in the circle. So in that case, it really is instance. So yeah. So in that so case, I think that gives yeah. us greater possibility mm -hmm, of that mm -hmm. being uh, whereas, an option. Whereas Wintergrasp is open is in the world because you can fly from Dalaran right into Wintergrasp. Yeah. And sometimes it'll kick you off your mount, <laughs> parachute you down, and sometimes it won't. I never. <laughs> it just depends on who owns it, I guess. Um, Yeah. My wife's not home yet. She's she's still mad about the truck and I I don't want her to be mad about the truck. That's the last thing she needs to worry about. I said I said it don't worry about it. And I'm gonna text her again. My response is, here's the response I always give her, Blue. I said, don't worry, I can have the part on the truck replaced if need be. I don't want you to worry. And then I just say, Daddy J-Bucks always comes through. Because <laughs> somebody, it was funny, like a friend of hers, like she used to go out drinking with a friend of hers. I'll read your message in a minute, Skylight. She goes out drinking with a friend of hers when we were still dating. And, uh, you know, I make a lot more money than she does. And her, she was worried about money doing something. And her friend said to her, said, don't worry, man. She had, Daddy J-Bucks will take care of it. Cause, <laughs> meaning me. You know, that I've got all the money or something, which I don't, but I make more money than she does. So he's like, don't worry, your boyfriend, he can right. afford to pay for that. You know what I mean? But I mean, it was perfect timing because I refinanced the car loan anyway. So I, so I actually got three months of no car payment. I refinanced my car loan, got a lower interest rate because my wife's, because of her physical condition, she's had the two heart attacks and she can't work now. So she's on short term disability. And so what I did was I refinanced the car loan, got a lower interest rate, and I spread it, instead of having a five-year loan, I spread it to seven, which, you know, you're going to end up paying more money over time, but I can still pay more money per payment, which is not a problem. So my car payment went down like $400 a month. So, and I got it so that the first payment isn't due till July 8th. So I went like going three months without a car payment, which is more than enough to pay for any repair to a stupid grill. Nice. So it was good timing on that one. I just don't want her stressing about stuff. She's got enough to stress about without worrying about stupid shit like that. Mm. Okay, so yeah, so so I think that the plan going forward is I'll just stick to on the server I'm on and we'll wait through the pre-patch and we'll see what comes out. I, I really feel that they need to do something. You can't be having Tolbarad yeah. on servers that are all Alliance where people are going into those zones. 
I mean, if they're doing PvP, there's never going to be any PvP. Like, now, Tolbarat, if yeah. I remember correctly, isn't a queue. I don't think... Well, maybe you can queue and it ports you into Tolbarat. I can't remember. There is a battle. I know there, there's a battle because you is, have to win it. Well, there's a battle, but, I didn't, but I didn't know if it was one of those things where you go to, like, the PvP menu and say, oh, I'm queuing for Tolbarat. I couldn't remember if it was like that or not. Or if you just went... No, so... Or if you yeah, just went so into the zone. only during certain times. Yeah, because, like... So more... there's certain times that you go talk to somebody to queue for the battle for Tolbarat, but then there's an entirely different section that has dailies and the mine exactly. ore and herb ores. Yeah, and that's... And that's so, like, in Morse and Gulls, for example, you fly into the zone and you talk to people inside the zone to pick up quests. And I think you even talk to them to queue, don't you? Or, or maybe not. Maybe you can. I think you can, but I think if you're in the zone when the battle starts, it asks you if you want to join the battle, and if you don't join, it'll boot you from the zone. That I'm not familiar with. But yeah, I, it I did. It, it, it would it would kick you out of the zone. It would throw you to Dalaran. Now, I know that for a fact. So I don't remember if Tolbra did the same thing. I'm going to guess it probably did. So that you could probably go in and say, oh, I'm going to do the battle, or it'll ask you, hey, do you want to do the battle for Tolbra? But I have fond memories of Tolbarat. I actually liked, there's like the the spider area. Do you remember where the spiders are, you know? there's Yeah, this... I was actually just doing dailies on over there a little while ago. Yeah, there's like the spider area, and then there's the little bridge that goes into the area where they have the, the three kind of flag locations, and those are what you fight for. And it's actually really cool. It's like, it's kind of like, a... it's cool because the map's not super big, and the the... The positions are set up such that there's a lot of LOS points, which makes the battle really fun. You know, it's not like you're just standing on flat ground. There's like a a building in the there's like a building, and you go in the building, and in the building on there's like a platform in the middle of the building, and so you can be you can climb up on top, you can like kite people around the platform, you can go outside the front door and back inside. There's just lots of stuff you can do. This is what's killing me. So. Anyways, I'm going to take a break because I've got to use the bathroom, get something to drink, and probably walk the dog. And then I'll come back and I'm going to play my priest a couple battlegrounds because she's only level 44. And then probably what I'm going to do is maybe, I don't know, I might go jump onto my to my priest on WoW Wrath of the Lich King. But I may just wait. Mm. I may wait. You know what? I'm probably just going to wait. Yeah, I was thinking about just taking the professions, but now that I think that they're going to go up in price, I'm not really going to care that much about them. What's going to go up in price? Oh, you mean on this server? Or... Uh, I've just heard that people, a lot of people, the demand for trade goods have has gone up right now because a lot of people are changing their professions in yeah. preparation for Kata. Yeah. Well, it looks like I've got some, some gold. I, I had no idea I had that much gold, so. Yeah, you get a good chunk. Yeah. But I pl I put a lot of time into that server. Uh, you know, I, I, in fact, I played that because that's the stuff that rolled from vanilla. When vanilla came out, that's mm. when that's when I got banned. The only time I've ever been banned in WoW was on my main account that I've had all the way since 2004. Um, somebody in my guild, I, I I think it was Warlords of Draenor. I said, man, I'm so sick of leveling mm -hmm. fishing every expansion on new characters, and he said, oh, just use a fishing bot. He's like, I use this bot all the time. I use it every expansion. It's great. <laughs> I'm like, really? You never get in trouble? He's like, oh, no, it's fine. So I said, oh, I go give it to me. And so he gave it to me, and I used it for like two or three days, and I got banned for six months. I was banned for six Ouch. months, and which shocked me. I mean, I thought if I, because I'd never been banned before, I was like, well, if I get banned, it'll just be like, you know, maybe like a slap on the wrist. You know, a fish bot? I mean, mm -hmm. how much are they going to ban you for that? But apparently, yeah. there were so many people fish betting for so long that they just went through and like banned a, like, in fact, before I got banned, the guy messaged me and said, oh, let, just to let you know, there's a bunch of band waves gone out where they're banning people using fish bots. And uh, mm. my wife's almost home anyway. So, And so, you know, but I'd already used it for like a couple of days and, and that was it. And so I stopped using it and then, of course, I got banned. So I got banned for six months. This was before Vanilla, before WoW Classic came out. It was like, it was mm. like kind of timed at a point where I was playing, I think, I don't know what it was, some version of WoW. And so I was banned for six months, so I just went off and did other stuff. And then when WoW Classic came out in 2019, I just created a new game account because I was still banned on the other one. So, so I was banned sometime in 2018 or 2019 for six months. And so I played all the way through Classic WoW on, on a different account. 
And that's why that account has all that money on it is because that's the one that I started when Classic came out. And I rolled it all the way through TBC and, you know, Wrath of the Lich King. So... RJ, you're saying only at 210 and I've made that much? I'm not, I don't know what he's talking about. You guys, when I'm like, I mean, I'm really, literally looking at like 50 different browser windows through two different game clients, having a chat with my wife, looking at stream chat. I mean, you have to be really explicit when you say stuff. Oh, so you're saying you'd, you'd recommend having over 4K on it on my main tune? Um, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I definitely want to max out your honor. Yeah. I think everybody will do that, you know. I'm going to go, guys. I'll be back in an hour or two. And I'll see mm -hmm. you guys then. Yeah, I'll come back in an hour or two and, and do some, some disc grease PvP. And then it looks like I've got quite a bit of maybe organizing to do on my Wrath of the Lich King account. Because it looks like it's kind of a cluster. As you, you know me, with all my bankers and characters, it looks like I've got so much stuff. I've got to figure out what characters I'm going to play and which ones I want to get honor on and all that fun stuff. 